This winter, <laughs> goodbye my friend, I will never love again. Memories made in the coldest winter, winter, winter. What's going on Copy 90 audience, fam, people, lovers, friends, great song by Usher. This is going to be a very special FIFA and Chill where I and the person to my left are going to be extremely depressed. I give you none other than Hugh Wizzy. <laughs> Hugh Wizzy, FIFA Why? and Chill. Why are we going to do press? Because, bro, we support Arsenal. Oh, There's man. nothing Don't to be happy is about. Is that what you've got me on here for? <laughs> no. This is my day off. <laughs> this is my day you've off. You've actually brought me in to talk <laughs> Arsenal. And I'll be the guy in the middle and Probably. I'll just be anxiety. You guys can be depression anxiety. and I'll be anxiety. Because right. Liverpool, you just never know what you're going to get. Especially That's with that theme. defense. There you go. However, look, I mean, FIFA and chill, bro. You've seen that. You've seen the show. All right, let's go straight on to the questions whilst you lot set up the game. Capo, he's asked a question. He said, what made you support Arsenal? My dad, I guess. Yeah. Uh, the first game that I saw was with him um, and he would just encourage me to watch football, I guess. It's not only Arsenal. For me, it's actually football. So I would be doing things like in the days of VHS, you know, recording match of the day, coming home early, rewinding the tapes, yeah, that's me. watching that's me. those saves over and over again. Trying to understand why it happened. Studying the game, yeah. You were kicking it, you were at kick, and when it was kicking, I was coming out of the US. That's how you yes. started on YouTube, right? Yes, indeed, before the takeover. And it was a lot of fun working for them. You know, I've got to do some great things that I never thought I'd be able to do. I've met some of my heroes. Um, Who and you meet? Who's the biggest hero? Obviously, Thierry. Oh, and you met him like working conditions, innit? Oh yeah, a few times on the pitch and... See, me, man was creeping through this party that Bruges got me into, having to pretend I had the VIP pass, because it was my hand, it was like, it's yellow, innit? And then I went straight over to Tierra Reed and just said, I just poured my heart out. Well done. Uh, Kaylin Kofi says, when you lived in the US, what did you miss the most about home? And did you feel your time in the US has changed you as a person and I'm really as a YouTuber. Interested, yeah. That's dope. We found How it. That lifestyle was there for <laughs> Yeah, I missed a lot about home. Being able to go for pie and mash, fish and chips. Uh, that thing there. Even being able to go to the games. Oh, that must have been difficult, man. You know, when you are a long way away from home, you've got the TV and it's great. They've got the. So options. when did you leave? What year did you leave? Leaving. 2012, I got there. Wow. And. Like I said, I really enjoyed every moment of it. They're actually a really positive, energetic people who promote entrepreneurialism. If you have a get up and go about you in America, they really support that. They get behind their kids, even on a sporting level. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Carry on, please. Let's okay. speak for sure. Welcome to multitasking. <laughs> multitasking isn't one of my strengths. I've Apparently got men aren't great, women are good. Yeah. But I'm basically, we are raised by women, so we should be good. Although, oh, hang about. Oh my god, man broke you He's down. Saying, I don't time. play FIFA. He's like, I don't play FIFA. No, I've got this cool hair. Get out of here. You liar. No, 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 Talk no, to us about carry on with America, but that was mad. I decided because Robin Van Persie at the time was leaving Arsenal mm. to make a video ranting uh, or just kind of getting it off my chest. I've done a few of these in these like little delis. <laughs> it was quite a cool little background. And these guys at uh, Keep TV or MLS, they must have had a look and they invited me in for a screen test. It was a big opportunity for me to be able to do something that I loved and I grasped it with both hands and I've just been working hard to kind of be able to carry on that doing is it. That since. is amazing. So you did dog walking and thrift shopping but via eBay. That yeah, is so basically. sick. But your story is sick. How does no one like, I've never actually fully grasped how mad that is. Listen, let's carry on to some more questions. We can find out more information. Um, going back to football before we get on to life. Rash Arsenal fan says, how do you cope with the mental stress that stems from following Arsenal, asking for a friend? Like, how do you have so much hair left? How basically? do I cope? Because <laughs> poets are received and it's going mad. Guys, look, look at my forehead. <laughs> you I've got a six head right now. The poet doesn't have a head, he's a four. How do I cope? I've actually coped by not making the 90 more videos for a minute. Oh, look at what wow, he's just done that to That was vengeable. <laughs> look at the fans going mad as well, like, ah! Um, I, mean, I had to stop doing the 90 more videos that I do or have been doing for a little while because they are emotionally draining and I've used it as a way of kind of trying to voice whatever I think m the majority of Arsenal fans are going through plus my own emotions, right? Let's go. So, you know... When you cried, I thought to myself, is this guy fucking serious? Okay, no, I should tears, let me it? explain a little bit about Please. that, right? Let me explain <laughs> a little bit about that. We'd just signed Yaya Sanogo. 
um, Flamini as well for free. And Great, it didn't look like we were very serious at the time, and we lost to Villa. And Free work at home. Yeah, and it all just <coughs> basically, well, oh, unlucky. It basically, I just got this feeling that because of what I'd been doing, I should use this platform that I had to really vent. And I respect that. I knew that I was going to be crying before I started this yeah. video. Because of how it emotionally got you? Yeah, and everything, you know, I've been through a lot in my life. Arsenal being something that I missed so much away from home, I know some people would think that's pathetic, but it's something that's all. very close to my heart. It all came to a, like, to a halt with this mm. video, so I guess that was also a lesson for me in terms of YouTube, because I ended up doing, I've done like consultation for Arsenal, and part of that, that was about, sick. well, part of that was about how people reacted to or how they react more to drama instead of like positivity. Sticking with Arsenal, Angel wants to know if you could have one player from the Premier League join Arsenal, which player would it be and why? I mean, funnily enough, I would have said uh, Raheem Sterling. Why? Whoa. Because we could have probably got him in an exchange deal for Alexis if we'd got our fingers out. Or... He said he was never going. Is Who's it? Sterling? <laughs> he came out He's happy with that. Yeah, I like... mean, can you blame him, really? Mm. Nah. Another question here uh, is, who would you rather lose? It's from Zach. Alexis or Ozil? I'd have to say Alexis, unfortunately. I do love Alexis. He's given us some great memories, but I think the love affair's memories over, personally. Memories made in the coldest winter. <laughs> Goodbye, my friend. I will never love again. Memories made in the coldest winter, winter, winter. That's it. And it is winter as well, and I thought that's when we're going to lose A banger, innit? Decent voice, innit? I'm out of getting the singing, fam. What? Serbia's got talent. Two contestants. <laughs> <laughs> it's only like you and two other people. <laughs> they film it on Ustream. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ozil, Ozil is a much more unique player than shit. Alexis. He's not only more creative, he's able to control mm. the game more, he loses possession a lot less. He sees the game two or three steps ahead. You see the volley that he's done. Not only is that Zidane-esque, right, but oh, he's actually it. moved into position I know, I said this as the ball's Maradona. dropping before it's even come off the header. He's literally seen it three steps ahead. We can't replace that. Whoa, 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 what's going on? Fuck, I hit the ball. <laughs> I hit the ball while he wasn't looking. <laughs> <laughs> like an alcoholic, my G. Um, so you'd rather lose Alexis, I totally understand that. Uh, Kaylin wants to know, do you think Arsenal have a better chance of making UEFA Champions League via Europa League? Or a top four finish? I would actually say top four finish. And I'd just say we should probably forget about Europa League because it's going to end up costing us the Champions League anyway. You know, it's funny actually because in the Champions League, Tottenham have been doing really well. And I don't want to pick on this and make it like I'm totally biased. But yeah. Tottenham have landed Real Madrid and Dortmund at the perfect time. No, I totally agree. In the Champions League right now. Well, Where are they meant to draw like them in the World Cup? Like, come on, lads. <laughs> no, 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 no. Come on, lads. Come on, no, Arsenal, no, no. lads. I'm playing, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> it just so happens that Arsenal have dropped out of the Champions League after all that consistency at a time when they may well have had a chance of going quite far this time, but, you know. Mm. I still don't think we would have, but... I mean, they've got Juve next. Do you reckon Tottenham? I reckon Tottenham will do them. I, yeah, I again, it's it. not a bad time to play Juve. Yeah. They're not at their strongest. For, like, this might be Tottenham's Champions League 2005 year when like, mean, Liverpool won I, it. I would say City are actually deserved favourites. They look incredible. Premier League is a lot more competitive now. The level is higher from top to bottom. So what mm. they're doing is much more Ridiculous. impressive. Mm. The only thing that you can say in criticism is money. And in terms of money, Arsenal are spending quite a lot of money then anyway. What, right, then, yeah. in terms of, I say the transition. So Arsenal, when Wenger, I think, for Arsenal to go undefeated, it was probably more difficult than it was for City today. I for the simple so. fact that Manchester United were the top team when Wenger came, and he's gone undefeated within, what, six or seven years of being there. And so he's had to build that side after losing yeah. a back five that was quite incredible. And Ian Wright, the record all-time you know, leading, leading goal scorer. So to replace that and then to do it to the point where in which you bring in someone like Vieira and then go the whole season undefeated. Mm. I'm not saying that's that a mad I'm not saying that it's not that it's more impressive. I'm saying that they have to be in the conversation. Now. Uh, bro, they're, yeah. they're, they're quality. You're talking about kid, kids like Sane and Sterling. These are actually like world that's class actually a good kids. Point. Let me show you how sick they are. If you put your control pad down mm. and you play by yourself, that's what it looks like. Oh. It looks like they're just the yeah, person's put the control pad have, down they're and they're just fun doing it. Yeah. The football they're playing, they're, they're all understanding of their roles. Pep really has taken them to another level. And I know that a lot of people point to it being like wow. a money situation, 
But it's bigger than money now. Really and truly, think of all the money that other Manchester City managers have had, and you haven't seen them playing football like this. They were actually quite boring to watch a couple of years ago. Now they're the most exciting team to watch in Europe. I mean, the, fo the, the football is down to Pep, but the quality of personnel is just down to finances. Like if you get, if you gave Pep Guardiola West Ham, they're not top. They'll be playing great football. Yeah, of course. But of they're course, not top. Of course. So we have to make sure that we understand the finances have played a part. Um, but regardless, anyway, Man City are hard. They're too hard, fam. They didn't get my nerves. Um, do you know what? George wants to know your best moment playing football. Oh. You've had a couple, couple penalty <laughs> stops in a couple, couple games. Yeah, I don't know if we can put that in, but... <laughs> um, one of my favourite experiences in my life, never mind in football, is actually saving your penalty. Fam, um, 16,000 people. He said in life. And there was like, the whole stand was full. You know who? And I was gassed and man saved my pen. Oh my, oh, what a... He's my battered days. me, you know? What have I just done to you? <laughs> <laughs> Fam, he has Brexited me right out of Europe there. 4-0. <laughs> At um, least you know what happened oh, in real life. fuckery. Like, well, when would Sanchez be that happy score? That was sick. <laughs> 100% needs to go. Hopefully by the time this video comes out, he's gone already. I mean, and it's a shame to think like that because, again, it's a very difficult player to replace. Arsenal need not a lot of players replace, mate, because shit... Oh, oh! Hey, I'll tell you what, oh, consolation! Oh. Okay, let me talk about this. <laughs> Arsenal's defence, Koscielny's finished. Gone. You realise that? Gone. Yeah? Now, in his career as a footballer, he's, what, 30, one. 31? He's going to need one more move, yeah? He needs that for a to mm, think no, about his retirement. Doesn't need it, but it'd be nice for him. And he's been on the same, he's been on about 10 grand more than Jenkinson for about six years. It's been a disgrace how little he's got. So it's right? not my concern, if he's Polish, no, he no, likes no, it, no, so no. <laughs> good on you. Yeah, but like it's that. not actually as bad as people make out. Nah, if, you were a, no, if you supported Sunderland, you'd know about bad. But I yeah? don't. Yeah, you don't, but... I don't like my mum's... Oh! oh, oh no, my no, life, food, right? Bruv, pause the game. What? Pause the game. How are you going to pause it when I'm on the camera? Why, why? Phone him. You've got his number. <laughs> You've done a video of him the other day. Phone him. I've got this new thing. If I've got a player Who and they're mucking him out... Why not? You've, you've done a video of him. You know I him. have his number, fam. Phone him and ask him why he missed that. <laughs> <laughs> Who was, Is that order? It's your bedroom. Go, though. That was not nice. Who this is what I was touching upon or maybe stuff which... Sorry, can I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Something, so, food go through, Something that's like a bit... Well, you've won 4-1 anyway, so end the game on a high. It's a good game. Man. You actually crap. deserved a couple of goals. Yes, yeah, I did, I think. I did. Venga don't look like that. That's a happy Venga, This is like... This is like post You don't even recognise a happy Wenger anymore. This is like, <laughs> we won on Saturday and he was pissed off. <laughs> we're talking about, like, you know, you're saying you're a very emotional guy. You've been through a lot. I think we all have these stories that we maybe don't share so much. I wasn't even aware of this, but Robert Eggart said, um, how hard was it to live homeless? And what did you learn? And when was that? Like, uh, I when, I was about, didn't know. when I was about 18, basically. I had left home early and I'd been able to keep myself afloat for about two years, but because I couldn't, I couldn't keep going to school, I had to work to pay the bills. Yeah. Uh, I was trying to do a lot and financially I just couldn't manage basically. So yeah, I was out on my feet for a while. A lot of people, you know when you're passing people outside the tube and there's a guy out there, mm. every guy's got a story, right? This is what I, I really learned from being homeless. Nine times out of 10, it's not through their choice. So me personally, I did have a choice. I, I had a choice to, in that situation anyway, to get myself out of it because I wasn't reliant on anything like a lot of people were. So I was brought up in a very spiritual environment. I went to a school where they taught philosophy, spoke ancient Greek and Sanskrit from a very young age and was meditating from sick. about five. So I'm very in tune with myself. Yeah. So I've, I'm eternally grateful to my mum, for example, for the education that she's been able to put in front of me which has enabled me to be mentally strong enough to be able to feel like I can get out of any situation. If you can wake up and, or find something that you can wake up to and enjoy getting up for, then you're never really working a day in your life, are you? So. That's the first time I've cried on FIFA and Chill. Oh man, <laughs> why are you crying? That is That's real <laughs> shit, bro. That's my guy. What? Yeah, yeah. That's mad still. <laughs> hey, Hugh, bro, that wow. is a very, 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 very inspirational story. Bro, pleasure. Okay. You lot, uh, keep leaving your comments. Who would you like to see next on the show? What did you enjoy about that? Leave your comments about Hugh, anything you found out during that show. But that was pretty wonderful. I'm happy we're back on the FIFA and Chills, man. So am I. I miss doing these. I think we should just end it by saying Visualist 4 1. Take care, everyone. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a nice. Have a nice. Have a nice. <laughs> You're the living definition of have a nice.